I'm pretty calm right now. But near where I live in Long Beach, California, tonight, in the same night, a TJ Maxx store was robbed by four people. And they stole a bunch of purses. In the same night, my friend is sitting in his car, smoking cigarettes, and I'm not sure if he's drinking alcohol, but smoking cigarettes. And, and my friend was in his car, and one person came up and he, well, he asked for money. Then he asked my friend to bring him to a tire place and to use, my friend said he only has a car, he doesn't have any money for him. And then he asked my friend to use his card and buy him tires. And my friend says no. And then the guy goes off about how, well, now he has to rob him. He wanted to be a good person and ask for it, uh, but now he has to rob him. So good thing my friend is not an older woman or a less mentally competent person, a weaker person, mostly you need to have some physicality to you. You can't be a hundred pounds. But uh, he was not happy. We've both worked all week doing manual labor to make our money. Waking up at five in the morning. So he did not like the idea of a guy coming up and just taking his money. Uh, he's in a parked car, the guy's at the window. So it's not like you can turn your ignition before he's gonna grab you or something. So luckily he got out of his car and took his shirt off and started going off at the guy how he thinks he's gonna rob him because he says the guy was also quite a bit shorter than him and like a tweaker and very skinny. Uh, but yeah, he got in his face about it and said he was ready to fight. And the guy backed off. That's what it's like in California nowadays. And that's not a rare thing. I know the world is very against uh, Russia and Belarus, uh, separate places, but very connected. But for example, in Belarus, it's just not like that. <laughs> That's not normal. You punish that. When it goes unpunished, this happens. Ocean's that way, so I'm pointing inward at the city. Man, that way. The reason, uh, bottom line is, uh, constant crime is not normal. Normal is having strict enough consequences that deter people from doing that and catch them when they do and lock them up when they do, not just give them some piece of paper or let them go on probation. Uh, but that's not how it is in California. There is almost no consequences for crime and being a scumbag. 
you can be scum and do whatever you want. And it's probably not gonna get punished. So all the scum out there, do it. Not good, not normal. Hope you like this video. That's the reality of California. And some people don't take it serious enough. You should be outraged by it if you live here. And it's not normal, it's not okay, it's not good, it's not safe. Someday someone you care about might be attacked or killed. It's not like that happens every day, it's not like that happens, I don't know how often it happens, but considering how much stuff happens, and a decent amount of it is violent, and it's only getting worse, if you are thinking realistically, that can affect your family. Uh, men need, sadly, there's mostly boys that are practically girls nowadays. But men need to think how they're going to keep their family safe. You don't just go through, look at a idiot cloud and bliss. Just living somewhere that's dangerous and doing nothing about it. You need to strategize how you're going to keep yourself and your family as safe as possible. Maybe you need to move. Maybe you need to get a gun. Maybe you need to learn to fight. Whatever it is, you need to figure it out and do it. Not think about it. Not be lazy and like start to do it and stop, start to do it, stop. Not uh, anything other than do it. That's what's intelligent. Um, yeah, sadly. Too many people nowadays have lost touch with reality and they don't realize how bad and dangerous it is that there's consequences to actions or lack of actions. And uh, considering the rate at which they're getting worse, I don't know if you wanna go up or down, uh, but considering how quickly, how much worse it's getting, you can only think that that's a pretty bad outcome for the chance of a tragic event happening to your family. But, you know, most people just aren't responsible, thoughtful, brave or manly. I don't know the best word for it. But, uh, people nowadays just live in a bliss of garbage instead of being connected to reality and thinking about their and their family's safety. It's like the most, it's the antithesis to our biology. Our biology is to protect ourselves and our family. To get more into it, it's to reproduce and such. To be so disconnected that you f do not focus on that. Is the complete opposite of our biology and what has what the biology has driven in terms of human everything because everything that's ever happened to humans that's been done is because of our biology if it were different uh whatever would happen would be essentially a different event because our biology would be different the combination of events were as they were because our biology was the way it was. Uh, so you drastically altered the course of human everything 
when people are so disconnected. And it seems to be catastrophic. Not yet. Only time will tell. Hopefully it can be reversed. I don't care what you want to call it. Uh, there's currently stuff about like revival of manliness trending and becoming more popular, it seems like. But whatever you want to call it, this part of how humans are and what is proper for our biology and healthy existence as humans and what we are, if you deviate from this, it's horrible. Yeah, I'm gonna end the video soon, but imagine being more focused on your little... I, I saw recently someone I went to university with in my fraternity posting Instagram video. He's like 20... I think he's 26... 20, let's 25. I, I, I don't remember exactly. Maybe 26, maybe 25 posting an Instagram video of his doll collection. I don't know what their word for them is. Like, I really don't know what they call them. They're not action figures. So doll is more appropriate. Uh, of anime cartoon characters. That's a man. 25 years old. My age, same as me. And instead of thinking, oh, somehow he has a girlfriend. He, I, I'm not gonna say why, I have no idea how a girl could be with him. But instead of thinking about how he's gonna protect his, himself and fa his family, he collects dolls and even takes Instagram videos of them. A man collecting cartoon character dolls. What the hell is going through your head? You're, you're screwed up. That's the bottom line. That's reality. You are screwed up. People don't like to hear it nowadays. They like to just be screw ups. Instead of facing the reality and improving and changing. They like to just be screw-ups. I don't know, maybe it's easier to be that way. It's easier in some regards, harder in others, certainly. But like this guy, for example, instead of being focused on reality and ensuring his protection, his family's protection, uh, working on, I mean, he is going to university, working on getting a degree, that's important. You know, you can get a job, that's important for your family. Uh, but he, instead of focusing on becoming stronger or learning more with guns or getting guns or learning self martial arts, uh, he watches cartoons and collects dolls. And worse than that is the fact that a girl dates him. Well, I mean, no, they're equally as bad. Uh, maybe what he's doing, what he's doing is probably worse, but the girl's so stupid. I mean, he's stupid too. They're both stupid. You have to be the dumbest girl on the planet to get with a guy that has no self-protection, no family protection instincts of any sorts or thoughts about it, and instead watches cartoons and collects dolls. <laughs> so it's not just a problem with men, it's a problem with the girls too. I think it's more the guy's fault, but you know, everything works together.
That is the biggest comedy I've ever heard. Because that's what it should be, a comedy movie or book or something. It should not be reality. Sadly, that's our reality, that there's a lot of people like that. And they help make our society like this. Hopefully that's like the most insane thing you can hear. Like the guy does that and there's people out there that have none of these instincts. I don't act on them. They, they probably have them a little bit. And it's a tragedy because it's going to be a tragedy for all of us. Hopefully the human race can be saved. And yeah, I picked to use dramatic words, but it's a pretty 